see. So we're going to look at supply and demand with a tax. So we got supply and demand set up. Equilibrium price is seven dollars. Equilibrium quantity is twelve. Let's say that the government implements a two dollar per unit tax. So they're taxing the business, so supply would decrease. Remember, a decrease in supply is a shift back to the left. That's a decrease in supply. This vertical distance between your new equilibrium point and the previous supply curve represents the tax. So that vertical distance is the $2 per unit tax that the government has implemented. I'm going to trace all the way down also to get our new equilibrium quantity. Perhaps that new equilibrium quantity is 10 and this new equilibrium price, people want to say that it's going to be $9 because they figure it's a $2 per unit tax, but it's actually the producers and consumers that are going to share the tax since supply and demand are both elastic. So this new equilibrium price is $8. If I trace down to that previous supply curve and trace over, this would actually be 6 which is the amount of money that the, that the business is now going to collect. Now this box that we formed, this whole box that I'm shading in here in blue is the revenue collected by the government. So that whole blue area. Now we want to look at the uh, consumer and the producer surplus. Uh, the consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve but below the price that they're paying. So this orange area right here represents the consumer surplus. Uh, producer surplus is the difference between the price uh, that they that the business is going to collect and the supply curve, actually the initial supply curve. So this pink area that I'm shading in here is your producer surplus. Uh, remember the blue area was the area that of tax revenue collected by uh, the uh, government. So there's your tax. And if you were asked on an AP test to calculate that area of tax, it would just be the base times the height. So the base clearly is 10. Uh, the height between 6 and 8 is 2, so the government's collected $20 in terms of a tax. And the last one, you know that the deadweight loss usually forms a triangle, so this area in here, this little triangle here, rep represents your deadweight loss.